Hi guys, welcome back to Knights of Pen and Paper 2. Um, I just want to start off with an apology um, because I lost an episode of footage. Uh, I actually recorded an entire like 25 minute episode and I lost it. It's it's not like I misplaced it. Um, the, the data was just corrupted and not uploadable. If there was some little error or something, I would have just done it and apologized. Um, but it just, it wasn't watchable. Um, if it makes you guys feel better, all I did was, uh, I did, I did a quest where you go down to a sewer and you recover a coin for a shady beggar. Um, you fight a bunch of slimes and it was just basically a bunch of combat rounds of me stun locking a bunch of opponents and then, uh, winning. So I, I think I got attacked once the entire episode. Um, our ninja, our wizard, and our druid leveled up once, I think. I don't know. Um, it's, it's hard to remember, but, uh, yeah, the recording didn't go through, so, I, unfortunately, we're just down an episode, but, um, like I said, not much happened, so it's okay, or I hope it's okay, I'm asking for your forgiveness, <laughs> so I'm hoping it's okay, let's put it that way, um, that being said, we need to, uh, go to Password Citadel, okay, Robin Hood, HUD, Robin Hood, uh, Hello, adventurers. I hear you wanted to speak with me. Yes, we need the password for the gates of the Great Wall. You've proven to be worthy, so I'm happy to help you. Do a favor, get a favor. That's the Thieves Guild way. Finally, please share the password with us so we can continue our journey. I don't have the current password, but I do know where you can find it. Travel to the Tower of Brass and you will find the password engraved on the laboratory table. All I ask is that you leave the back door open when you leave. Okay. So the Tower of Brass is down here, so we're traveling twice. So we have to do two rolls. I get ambushed. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. That shouldn't be a problem. Depending on how many stuns I get, this shouldn't be a problem. All of them. That's awesome. A little mana restoration. I probably should have just attacked. Well, that's okay. Burns all around. And then, I just don't like this guy. Ugh. Okay, he died. Good. I do want to try and stun them all again. If I can. Okay. Just a little more mana restoration. Doesn't hurt. These guys should all be done this turn. I don't even think I need to use mana get hurt? Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. Oh, and a small shield. Actually, the small shield is a good armor piece, even for mages, because it gives them a little energy. Oh, right, it's a hand item. I'm smart. Um, that's a good item for them, just because it, uh, it doesn't take off that much energy. So, pretty useful. Um, let's see, I wanted to swap out that give him a little more HP. Not that he needs it, but a little more HP never hurt anybody. Um, critical plus two, I wanted to give to this guy, because he needs crits. And yeah, good. And we still have to travel, so hopefully we don't get messed up again. All right. And this is just five, so let's see how well we can do. Wow. I'm getting good rolls with you guys. I have never gotten so many rolls like this. This is ridiculous. XP mushrooms. Um, I think I want to throw these at my mage. Well, if I throw one at the mage and one at the... Is that going to do it? Ah, just short. That's okay. That's okay. And burn plus one. I'm going to get this up, though. That's important. You arrive at a lush and peaceful garden. The sun is shining, and surprisingly, the faint smell of XP is lingering in the air. What a nice spot for a picnic. As you are dreaming of picnic baskets in lazy afternoons, you're interrupted by angry guardians. The mushroom gnomes attack. These guys are kind of annoying. Their attacks aren't that deadly, but they can heal each other. Which I hate, because they do heal each other for, like, their entire bar of health. It is no fun.
little bit of mana restoration there. Not enough to kill him. Uh, I can't do the stun ability again. Two, three, four. He'll probably die on his next turn. And I can afford to do this. Oh, okay, so just him. Ah, of course he cured it, and he healed himself. See? For, like, most of his health. Slap a fool down. <sighs> That'll do it. Leveled up my warrior and my ninja. I really want to get Repost up. He needs more threat, as far as I'm concerned. Triple Strike. Triple Strike is nice. It doesn't do as much damage, but each strike can critical hit. And on crit, he uh, he adds wound. Um, his critical is 12, and vanish adds another 9. So it's actually a good chance. It's not bad at all. And he doesn't even have any weapons. I can get him weapons that up his crit at some point. So he can get really good. Mushroom gnomes. There's definitely something strange going on here. The gnomes smell very strongly of XP. A jar of XP mushroom, mushroom fertilizer falls from the pocket of one of the gnomes. So that's why Robin Hood wanted to gain access to this area. Secret XP mushroom plantations. Ugh. Near the tower base, you see an open door that leads to the underground caves where the mushrooms are grown. That's where the gnomes came from. And next to the caves are the great stairs leading to the front door of the tower. Green fumes float around, float around the third floor windows. That's where the laboratory must be. Why don't we visit the XP plantations first? You want to meet gnomes that eat those shrooms for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Like level 400 gnomes? Your hesitation took too much time. We're under attack again. Okay. Oh. That sucks. Hopefully get all the stuns. Nice. Okay. I'm just going to keep restoring mana as long as I can. I really want to take these guys out in the back. I think I can if I put burn on all of them. I'm going to rely on the smoke bomb even though that's dumb and I shouldn't do it. Ugh, see? See? Now they're both going to get to take actions. Very unfortunate. Um, I want these healers gone before I try to deal with the the beetles, because they're gonna take a lot longer to beat down. I could power lunge him on his next turn. Ah, forget it. I'm just gonna kill him. Oh, I didn't. Well, he'll probably take damage on his next. Oh, you know what? I'll just do that and hopefully get stuns off on these two. That'll do it. Store mana and a little health. Hit both of them. Lightning. Vines if I can. Nice. So they take extra damage as long as they have other status effects on them when they have the vines, so that's really good. Man, no crits. again. Man, you gotta be kidding me. Fire. Nice. Good burn damage. I think I can just slap that fool. I don't think I have to expend any more energy. Yep. That's what I thought. Should be a good amount of XP. Yeah. Very good. Okay, we should enter the tower before more red caps appear. When searching the valuables from the gnomes, you happen to glimpse their character sheet. You realize that these lawful good creatures have been enslaved by a strong second edition magic. Paper Knight, what has he done? And what's this skill, mass production 2? 
Why would he want to create tons of XP potions? We must hurry and stop the paper night. You easily get to the third floor and find a fully equipped laboratory. Shelves are filled with alchemy books and scrolls. Any philosopher's stones lying around? No, I don't think so. Oh god, it's Mario. <laughs> hey, what are you doing in my laboratory? I almost did a Mario voice. You guys don't want to deal with that, trust me. No reason to get agitated. We're just here to find out the password. Password? Password? What is this? You're surely here to steal my research on changing one metal into another. Like transforming lead to gold? No, no, no. The other way around. I'll change everyone else's gold into lead and then my gold pieces will be priceless. Sounds like a plan that cannot fail. Okay. Boss time. That is totally Mario. I wish I had rested up before this. Um... One down. So he just heals himself. I want that gnome down so that he can't heal the boss. I can power lunge him. Hopefully that does enough damage. Nice. All right, so now it's just wailing on the uh, on the boss, keeping him stunned if we can. Critical wound one. Nice. Very good. Just gotta keep on hitting him. That's all I can do. This guy doesn't have any energy. Bonus actions are good. Hopefully... Uh, okay, that works. <laughs> I'll take that. Whew. A lot of XP for that one. Awesome. Vines. No resist up, huh? Nope. We're gonna up See, it tried to get me again with that whole... Yeah, 13% chance for bonus actions now. That's much better. You see the password engraved on the side of the laboratory table. Even Adam forever? <laughs> no, that other engraving. I accept the risk. We have the password, so off to the wall. Another chunk of XP. And then I think there's actually a mission here. Yeah, there's a mission I want to do before we go. Energy plus two. So now she restores four energy to everybody else when she uses her uh, abilities. Um, his passive is really good. It restores energy per turn, but it increases his spell damage. That affects all of his skills. The only reason I'm not grabbing Frostbite at the beginning is because it's another way to inflict stun that I don't need. I'd rather be inflicting burn, and it only strikes one target. Um, these two will strike all targets. So, well, that strikes a row. This will strike all targets. Um, with burn, anyway. It, it still only hits a single target for flat damage, but it's, it's better, anyway. Oh. Did that bush just move? Am I crazy? Yeah, no, there it is, it's moving. Can't do anything with it, though. Huh. That's weird. I think we should get a closer look at those XP plantations. Something strange is going on down there. Yes, we might find another clue to Paper Knight's plans. Carefully, we descend to the plantations. Very well, as you go down the stairs, the daylight fades, and finally you are surrounded by complete darkness. The XP mushrooms demand absolute darkness while growing, otherwise they just turn into an average substitute for truffles. Fair enough, I already started to think that you haven't made any graphics for this place. While you're trying to navigate around the cave in total darkness, you bump into something angry and gnomey with a large spotted hat. The mushroom gnome screams out, alerting the guards. Oh. That's a big fight. Um. Aw, oh, come on. Counter. Nice. Okay. Um, let's do a little bit of this. Oh my goodness. 
Alright, let's put burn on everybody. That will help me get rid of these guys. At least a little. Um, you need energy. And you need it now. Because I need to get stuns off. guys just as long as I can damn counter nice good counter okay I need to heal so do some damage across the board with that try to stun everybody out again I have that um, item in my game room that makes these abilities, instead of affecting adjacent enemies, it affects all enemies. And that's really useful. Let's lock these guys down. Let's get the vines on all of them. Weave again. Good. Just restore mana. Okay. Not enough. Damn. Of course he resisted it. Man. What? That should, yeah. We'll do that. Store everybody real quick. Lightning bolts. Oh, I guess I could have used a burn on those two, but that's fine. No crits. Awful. Maybe I'll just hit a fool. Good counter. Not quite. Finish these guys off before they get to move again. Mm. Nice ball. Okay, two level ups. That's good. Actually, will I get a resistance? Yeah, I'll do that so it stuns more often. Damage 5, threat 5. This is 9 and 13. I think the War Axe is way better than the Maul, even if I enchant it. Even a plus two enchantment, I, I think the... I think I can check. Vines? Uh, well, I gotta level them up or I'm not gonna get any more resistance. That's enough of this visit. We head back to the surface. Quest done. Three more magic mushrooms. Um, one for my warrior. Because he'll level up. And we can up repost. Actually, upping one of these might be better. Damage plus 12%, threat plus 1. Wow, any of these would be good. Let's do this one. Because now it gives 2 threat until the end of battle. It does 130% damage, so we'll go with that. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter who I give these two, really. I'll give them both to my mage, because I want him to be... ...stronger, faster. Okay, and then to the wall, I don't want to do yet. I already did that. Um, I want to head back to Big Town to do some... Oh my god, barely made that. Ah, oh, didn't make that. Man, killing me. And mob, of course. Ugh, okay. Stuns for everybody. I could just run from these guys, but it's XP. So, I might as well fight them. It's also going to be a good variety and enemy amount bonus, so that's good. I should be able to take them out relatively easily anyway. have her shield. Let's hit him again. He'll skip his turn and take damage. We can try to stun them again. And that thief in the back does not want to get stunned. It's no good. Okay. 
Come on. Take that guy out. Oh, he's not vanished anymore because he took damage. I should have used vanish. Oh, are you kidding? He's not going to get any XP from this fight. Because he's dead. This is uh, one of the places where a warlock comes in handy because you can temporarily revive somebody um, in combat and get them the XP. I'm not that worried about it. It's just one fight. Um, but that does suck. That's why I, I'm trying to keep his threat low so that people don't attack him. Because he cannot take hits. Um, it's easy enough to revive somebody, though. Not a problem. We'll just heal it up. And then I should be far enough in the game. We're just about out of time. Um, but I should be far enough in the game to be able to get the crystal ball. And that means I can go to the crafting and I can finally make my wizard his staff. Oh. Okay. That is our time up timer. I normally silence it. But um, let me just equip that to our mage. So where's his... Oh, I thought he had a stat where I could see his actual spell damage, but that's okay. Um, so we put this on him and he gets 15 more energy, spell damage plus 3. Really good staff. Really, really good for him. Um, but that is all the time we have for today, guys. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe in the boxes below. And uh, I'll catch you next time.